Hey everybody, it's Hobbit Fan, and we're back. That's what happens if you wait too long crossing this bridge. You get all sorts of these weird bird things that try and kill you, so... Don't wait too long, just charge right through. Or, that might be it, or if you come back, I don't know. But bottom line, you just go, okay? Anyway, um... So we're gonna power through here, you see there's a high point. For Metroid Other M. Um, and I think, yeah, it's a, it's a really good game. I don't care what people say. But anyway, uh, so we're gonna come through here. There's a missile that, yep, right there that's hidden. It took me a while to get it, but if you know where to look, I believe there, there's a map that you have. I'm not quite sure. It's been a while. Oh, look at that! Energy tank acquired. You want these. I'm telling you right now, you want these. There are um, 10 in the game, I believe, or is it 12, I think it's 10, that you can acquire. Two of them I've never been able to get, so, but eight of them I've been able to get quite well. Um, oh yes, in the upper right hand corner, new addition to the Metroid series, um, or at least an addition over the regular uh, Metroid, is that It'll show you an open circle, which indicates that there's an item that you've not yet collected. Closed circle means you've gotten it. And here's a map room, you want to get that, because it'll fill in a lot of your map for you and show you the places that you've not explored. Having said that, um, I'm going to go back up, we're climbing, climbing, I don't know how she jumps as high, but climbing nonetheless. Uh, whoa, that just surprised me as I went through there a lot, but... Save station to the left. Um, I can't remember. Did save station replenish your health? I don't think so. <coughs> can't remember which game they did that in, but anyways. Now here, you're gonna get quite a surprise in here. Um, but after, oh yep, there's red door again. So use a missile, missile, missile. Yeah. And um, yes. Uh, a little paranoid. She doesn't quite know what she's shooting at, but she's gonna shoot it anyway. And here we get the bomb. Wow, very appropriate comment after I said that. Um, you want to go left here because you're going to get another missile tank. Oh, uh, yep, right there. You can bomb jump, which it'll pretty much force you to do at this point. There'll be an addition later. You don't have to do it. But, eh, bomb jumping is just charming, I think. Um, so you go back through. Go back to that blue door. Um, and yeah, you're gonna get quite a surprise. Notice the gray door that came over. You have to do something in this room. Most likely when you see a gray door, it means kill all the enemies. Can't shoot through it. Nothing will get through it. Don't try. There it is! A lot of bugs. That's how I died the first time. I didn't realize you could kill them with bombs. So I just had to watch as poor Samus had her life drained out of her. <laughs> oh, yes. You didn't know how to kill him. No. Then I had to look up a fact. Uh, frequently asked questions. How do we kill these? You know, it, it said, bomb them. And you need to be quick with those. Because they can drain your health at a... Depending on how many bugs there are, it takes about four or five to start doing damage. It takes approximately... one hit point every... every half second, I believe. Yes, that's... I'm correct. Bomb that. No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, it just won't. It's indestructible, apparently. Um, so, the interesting thing about that, you can tell a lot of times what's required of you. Uh, yeah, for destruction of certain objects. For example, eh, um, those red dots you saw. After You can expose them after shooting them. Rule of thumb is, if you shoot it and it comes out to do something, you need to destroy it in some way. Towards the end of the game, there'll be a lot of things you need to destroy. Um, we're gonna be doing towards Norfair now. Uh, interesting place it is. You won't be able to do much in Norfair, so don't be fooled by all the places that'll show up once you get there. You really can't do much in there until you get another certain object, which I really don't want to spoil. Um, so we get through. These things are interesting once you have a future upgrade. And that's all I'll say on that subject. Uh, you have the zipper. Uh, yes, that's what they're called, zippers. And you have the more powerful version of the zippers. These are good for uh, life grinding if you so need it. 
at this stage of the game, you haven't encountered anything too difficult. But if you need it, well, they're there. For easy access to life and supplies. Having said that, we're going to backtrack a little bit. Just use a charge beam on it. Yeah, yeah, you can use a charge beam. It's quite a bit more powerful than the regular one. At this stage, about as powerful as the missile. But I wouldn't be too sure. It really doesn't matter. Again, at this point, it really doesn't matter. Once you get to the more tougher boss, more difficult bosses, excuse my language, um, there will be a time where you do need to know exactly what you have and when you need to fire it. That's the charm of the Metroid series. You really need to think before you shoot. So, a little bug on you. Again, you can kill it with a bomb if it bothers you, but only one won't kill you. So, we can go through here again. No earthquake this time. The creature that attacked is gone. Right there. Um, had he not bombed that, you could shoot it and it would reveal the red dot, indicating you need to bomb it. That's, again, a good way to tell what you need to do. If once you learn to interpret all the symbols, there aren't too many, so it won't be too difficult. We're gonna get down the elevator here, into Norfair. We're gonna see a familiar face. <laughs> uh, and it opens its nasty little eye. Remember her, folks, from the original Metroid? Oh, yes. Yeah, she's an angry little. Very angry. Brain on life support there. Uh, and there she comes. There she blows, I guess. I don't know. Uh,. The way to go is to bomb that, I believe. Yes, bomb it. Oh, well, that works too, I guess. You could just bomb right through it, I believe, so... Uh, I was just going... Oh, right, but... The, the little dot that you had there, on the map, indicates a place you need to go. A specific area, I believe, uh, more specifically. An item that you need to get in advance. But, Metroid games, you know about it. The missile tank, uh, as my friend here has said, you can't get right now. Uh, there's a certain upgrade that you need, and then you can get it, and it'll be very interesting. So, uh, we're gonna go up here. It's interesting how they make it contrary to where you need to go, according to the map, but... Might as well get this now, you can do it now, so... Really, whatever you want, it's an exploration game. Can't go there, go the other way. Can't pick bomb that out. <clears throat> ah, see? You shot it, or you used a bomb on it, it revealed something. That's gonna be important way later in the game. Oh boy. Way later. And see? There you go, just bomb it. It's all good. Good deal. All of life's problems have been solved from that fancy explosion. <laughs> but anyway, uh, chose the ruins. Uh, yep, right there. So go down there, and you're gonna see an interesting item. This is required. It might not seem like it's important. But it is required, I promise. Don't leave home without it. It's like the something express, I can't remember the saying. Um, again, this is something that you need way later. It doesn't make any sense right now, but it is extremely important. Besides, you can't get out of there without actually you know, having it, because you can't shoot those things to get on land. So, um, so once we get over here, in our... hang on a second... Yep, yep, I'm in the right place, my bad. So those things become available to shoot, it's, uh... It's, it's shining, it's glimmering, I believe, so... That's a good sign that you should shoot it. And... we're gonna climb up here... It's a little bit foreshadowing what's, what's gonna happen a little bit later. And way later. <laughs> believe me, it's foreshadowing to the extreme. And you fall down! Okay, okay. And so we're running short on time. So at our next episode, we are going to find a very cool upgrade I wish we had in the original Metroid. Thank you so much for watching.